It has been a little while for me. I've been celebrating what happened last time and I think it was deserved. It was deserved having a little bit of a break from this and it gives me a little bit of perspective of what we achieved here with a non-traditional target, target tactic. With a non-traditional tactic, we were able to utilize our key players and get the most out of them. The creative midfield, the dominating defensive midfielders, um, the wing backs, and the the creative wingers uh, trying to get the most out of this team was really interesting. And we're in Division One with a non-traditional strategy, which is pretty unusual. You don't usually get that. So I am delighted with this team. But now here comes where the, here comes the challenge. Essentially, I think this is where the challenge kicks in to another gear. We've got three key defenders leaving us, and that's that's terrible. We've got Crowley, obviously, the defensive maestro himself. The amount of tackling he did for us throughout his 151 games, that is not something that's going to be easily replaceable. Um, Danny Flynn is thankfully unable to leave at the moment, but he has been killer, absolutely killer this season. Eight man of the matches, eight, is absolutely preposterous to keep out julian parker from the first team is a hell of an achievement and he's done it well he's done it fantastically julian parker's moving into a central midfield role at the moment so this works out perfect for us uh, baker leaving is a huge loss he didn't perform that great this season last season he prefers the 4-4-2 we we know that but um he was still fantastic in this in this new formation and we're gonna have to find a second choice because admittedly Keith Clark's done well Keith Clark's done really well I was I was skeptical the off the ball and the positioning meant that I knew he had potential he's still not I don't think he's fulfilling that potential fully um I would like to see a man of the match performance from him I'd like to see a bit more dribbling from him I know it's seven dribbling but when you got someone who's got good off the ball you kind of hope that they could start dribbling if you can hear something outside, it's probably someone maintaining their motorbike. That's what happens in this neighbourhood at the moment. Every time I'm recording Youth Challenge, it happens. Every single time. It doesn't matter if it's a weekday or a weekend. Uh, and we're, uh, we're losing Robert Walsh as well, who was absolutely a standout for us from a stats point of view. Last season, he was brilliant. This season, he did drop off. He did drop off a huge amount. He doesn't like playing in the back too. So that one isn't as big of a loss as it could have been. Uh, we need to keep hold of people like John Daly, even though he's not brilliant. We need to keep hold of him. He did get in, come into his own at the end of the season, though, so he's probably going to be a first choice now. Richard Williams is another one. We need to keep hold of him. Uh, he's going to be ever, ever more important, but we're going to have to train up people like Darren Hargreaves, and I'm going to close my windows. Give me a second. Right, well, that's that's been dealt with. Uh, Darren Hargreaves is, is again a, a hugely important member to train up in this season uh, and maybe someone like Graham Reed, but he has been underwhelming uh, to be honest he's he's unlikely to get a game last season he did well though so maybe there's something there but the defense is definitely a place where we've got to figure out um, as for every other position we're doing quite well to be honest we've got a few strikers to choose from Daly came into his own. He came into his own. He's very angry is the only problem. He is very angry. Uh, and he is probably worth that 5 million minimum fee. We just got to hope that no one buys him. His shots on target barreled up. It absolutely barreled up towards the end of the season. Um, and we've got Parker as well. Keep rotating those two. And we're doing well. And then we've got Danny White who was a... He's a bit of a misfit, but I like him. So we're going to definitely keep him and keep him as a project. I feel bad for Kevin Thompson. He had a few games where he's good, but he's he's not done well since. And um, Perfect, um, I think that was a mistake last season, to be honest. I think he might be on the chopping block. Uh, a few more wingers would be nice. I don't want to play Craig Green. Uh, and Carl Andrews, your time is probably up too. I would like better players for those positions, but we're going to have to wait and see. Carl Andrews is definitely the better player. Uh, Craig Green is really bad. He's really, really bad. Like, he's not even conference level, so we've got to figure that one out. 
Uh, so now I'm going to make sure that all of our scouts are ready to go. Let's make sure they're all assigned. We've got 6.25 million uh, to spend. Uh, I wish I could wh whack that all into um, the... What's the what do you call it? The wage, the wage budget. I might actually ask the um, the board like me at the moment. So let's ask the board confidence, board request, extra funds for wages. Oh, well, that, it was worth a try. But yeah, we are. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a summer episode, and you know what that means. That means we're gonna be hopping about to the key moments. I'll play for the summer. You don't have to sit there and wait for all of it. And you'll see any sort of key developments as they happen. Of course, we're going to have players come out the door. But are we going to get anyone interesting? Let's find out. Don't worry, Liverpool fans. You'll win the Premier Division on the last day of the season in 2089. And there'll be no pandemic. So don't worry about it. You'll win it legitimately. And with no sort of unusual world events happening. Look at that. Brilliant from the side. I mean, that's very close. So one point and one goal. One goal at Watford almost taking the crown. What a story that would have been. Uh, in, in the history books. Oh, beating West Ham had a treble. Uh, a, a triple. A triple win. Uh, but it looks like it's a new era. Have Have uh, Watford ever won it before? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, no, they did in the forties. In the forties, so it's been a long time. Liverpool did go on a bit of a streak. Oh wow, that's world football hasn't changed a lot, has it? Watford sort of stayed at the top forever. Are they super. They're not rich, according to this, anyway. They do spend a lot of money, though. Blimey. Oh, he's a good player, though, isn't he? He's a bit old, but he's a good player. Wow. These, this, is a, this is a whole new world. I've not looked at this high up in the leagues. And I, I don't know what these transfer fees are like, but they are high. Doing this challenge in this era is going to be difficult. There is a lot more money in this game. And it doesn't seem like... It accounts for inflation as such, so the players still go for like 9 million, 100k and stuff, but the teams now have like 100 million in reserves, so it's going to be a hell of a challenge for us. I'm surprised we've managed to keep a hold of as many players as we have, but um, we'll see We'll see how that carries on. It's the start of the summer, anything could happen. Um, you see there that uh, Mark Barrett is, is running out of contract. I think I'm going to let that one go. He's not He's not really good at any position, so I don't think it's worthwhile. But, you know, I, I, he, he hasn't got a game for quite a while. So, yeah. Obviously, this was a record season. This is the highest we've ever been in this game. People are coming after Flynn a lot. A lot. Uh, it's... I don't really know what to do. I might boost it to 2.1 million and hope that... Oh, I don't... No, I don't want to put it near the minimum fee is the problem. Uh, so I'm probably going to just put it to 1.2 and hope that it don't go any higher. It's it's scary. It's really scary. Because I think if we lose him... No, deny rumour. Deny that rumour. If we lose him, that could be a huge problem. That could become a huge problem. Just because of his performances in the last stretch of the season. Un unwieldy. Like, absolute eight man of the matches for our left wing back. Doesn't take set pieces, doesn't... It's basically like having Mike Duff. It's basically I've got a Mike Duff in my hands, in my grasp. And, you know, I don't want to be missing out on having that sort of player in the squad. And I need to keep him as long as possible. Because I think if, if we keep him, that could mean the difference between the playoffs next season and uh, the the relegation zone. I think it's that big. I think it is that big. What? What? Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. We keep Lee Baker. We keep Lee Baker. Now Crowley's gone. That's a shame. That's a shame. He's gone to Kidderman's Division 3 side. Um, He didn't get promoted. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why. Maybe he he's, he's got a high, high wage though, to be fair to the bloke. But Lee Baker has stayed. 
you think that's unrealistic for you? Okay, sure. Uh, although his contract is up today. Right. This is going to be a difficult one. Do we do we manage to keep him? I'll put I'll put your minimum fee really low. To be honest, elite. Oh, right. Well, that's the end of that chapter. That's a shame, isn't it? That's a real shame. He just left. He just went. No club to go to, and he just vanishes. Just like that. Absolutely outrageous. And. You know, as the rules go, if they leave like that, then there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Unless the youth, the youth scout could find him. He's 21. I think that means he's available. Only for a month, though, because his birthday is coming up. So we'll see. We'll see if he just sprouts up. If he does, then I'll get him. I'll see if he forgives. He forgives and forgets. And the season has elapsed. Here we go. Do we get anything interesting here? Uh, youth player Alex Williamson. Uh, you're mm, no, no. Not there's not enough there. I wish if your marking was higher than yes. Nathan Dodd gets uh, gets a nod from that rhymed. Jason, uh, he gets a. How, that's not how mathematics works. How does that make any sense? That doesn't add up at all. Oh, did it count? It counted the non-competitive matches. Okay. Wow, his tackling is out of this world. Out of this world. This boy is special, isn't he? He is special. I we Even if we do finally struggle to keep our left back, if we keep him, that's good. I am getting Mark Cook, though. That's a, that's a player who could be in the backup. He could be in the reserves uh, for that right winger. Uh, he's got good work rate, good dribbling, good pace. That's that's good enough to get in the on the squad once in a while. And oh, the youth has been completed. Oh, let's see, I'll start, not to start at the bottom of the list. Um, ben Haywood, oh, we're getting these all these Haywoods. Can we stop getting Haywoods? Like these tall Haywood fellas are not all that they're cracked up to be. Let's be honest. Um, James Morris, e you're okay. I'll, I'll, uh, hot prospect, and like, yeah, for a hundred, a few hundred quid, I'm happy to keep you in the in the reserve team, just in case someone like Shaw gets a long term injury. That might be quite useful. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got anyone useful there, so let's just fire out that scout again. Go to the schools, find us. Find us who you can. And it doesn't look like anyone else has found anyone else interesting at the moment. No, no, everyone else is pretty boring. And we're given four million. We're expecting a difficult season, of course. Uh, more players we've already looked at. Oh, another youth, uh, youth search has completed, which is good. Are we able to, even in these sort of bottom of the barrel, is there anyone there? Nope, there is not. Everyone is pretty poor. Uh, anyone in this side? Looks like more of the same, to be honest. A weird cr crossing striker. You can't cross to anyone. You're a sole striker. You can't. We can't be having that. Uh, so head back out to the schools, mate. And we'll cruise through to, I thought, for some reason I thought that, oh no, we're in the European qualifier. No, we're not in European qualifiers. And nothing else of any such is happening today. Oh, another youth search is completed. Let's just have a cheeky look. Let's have a cheeky little gander. Oh, nothing's there, nothing's there. I'm going to stop this. James Morris is coming on board, the pacey block boy himself, the the one who, and Mark Cook is coming on as well, and he will be a very welcome addition. Those both will be a welcome addition to this new strategy that seems to be working out really well for us. Those winger positions, we need to bolster them a little bit, and they are good additions to the squad. Let's just put, um, now let's leave you in the reserves. Let's leave you there for a little bit. We need a bit of development, a bit of youth development in this youth squad. <laughs> So we're getting we're getting to this weird crossroads where we've got youth players and they're our future and we've got now these middle 
aged for football and middle-aged 25 year olds who are now coming into their actual peak of their careers so it's a very funny little scenario oh the rare thing has happened someone has been promoted to our reserve squad let's have a look at them hmm okay interesting <laughs> um they're a striker a seven-year-old striker with agility and dribbling but no real other pace or finishing i'll i'll sign them on i'll sign them on i'll put them i i've made a new uh training uh little thing called youth out which is gonna be youth outfield um and it's yeah intensive fitness intensive skills we'll see uh if that makes any difference to what we've got but yeah i think for the most part that's what most players i want them to do shooting rarely i really care about uh i know we've had a few players who we really need them to shoot better but you know for the most part it's been pretty all right i have got a match though i have got a match against the mighty cheltenham uh i think it's gonna be our only pre-season just just to make sure there's no injuries and everything just to keep the players fit and and get them not lacking match practice i think this would be good but otherwise i'm not that fussed let's uh anyone else oh, anyone else john brown yeah uh leon daly isn't unhappy anymore now that's a turn up for the books that's unusual that's that's good that's really good danny flynn is probably still oh no he's happy oh okay right well i'm i'm delighted with this then we've managed to we've managed to do a, a loop around there that's a that's a rare occurrence so, so we've got oh we've got may in there i think we'll play parker in the midfield for this uh anyone um Flynn isn't that fit, which is a bit annoying. So actually, I'll put Powell on the bench and take him off at some point. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Is there any other anything else I want to do? No, I think that's good. I think that's good. And Clark, actually, Clark is a bit knackered. Let's play. Um, oh, I know. I was going to say let's play out of a right back. We don't really have one. Uh, it's always weird when they're tired during preseason. Uh, I'll I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Uh, Cook can get sixteen. That's fine. We've got another cook. I know it's it's it, it, there are too many cooks in the kitchen, too many chefs in the kitchen. You know what I mean. It's the same phrase. Mm -mm. We're doing good though. Save the penalty immediately. Brilliant. I mean, Ben Fitzpatrick has been a brilliant asset to us. Uh, sure, with a, another goal. His finishing has been getting a lot better. I mean, look at that shot accuracy. Over 50% for someone with two finishing. I know he's got long shots, but blimey. Uh, still, two finishing is not a lot. It's very... 11 long shots isn't that much. So, he's done really well. Uh, ball able to get a goal. Oh, wow. Interesting player. Creative and dribbling for a left back. That left... It's, a, it's the era of the left back, it seems. I seem to have plopped in this weird little era. Where left back's rule and no one else. Uh, let's put on Danny Parker. Uh, Leon Daly's looking a bit tired. Uh, Nathan Dodd is also looking a bit tired. I wouldn't mind another DMC. Actually, that's one thing that we probably could do with. Just because uh, they are... Oh, we've got one great one, but we haven't got two... Uh, is it Mark Cook? Yeah, Mark Cook was the one I wanted to play. And Keeble for Bone and uh, Danny Flynn is probably going to come off it. Mr. Powell. There we go. All of our substitutions just thrown out there. Whole new squad at the 60th minute. Let's see what they can do. And it's the final whistle. That's fine. Not really looking to this for any sort of inspiration. Nathan Dodd, brilliant match again. Richard Williams did brilliantly. Um... Not a lot of lessons learnt there, but just just a bit of fitness, to be honest. Nothing else was necessary for that game. But I'm glad that our players seem to be getting a bit happier. It keeps saying that David Brody is one of the best players in the planet. I don't see it, and I'm not going to get him. I'm sorry. It's just not worth it. 
as for the squad numbers, we do kind of care about it nowadays. So I'm probably going to promote... Where is he? Clark's so number two. There we go. And who's going to take number four? Oh, number four's got to go. Actually, I kind of like Dodders 22. It's sort of like an iconic number for him now. Uh, so I think I'm going to stick him there. I think May can have number four. 12 doesn't suit him. And number 12 can go to... Actually, wait, let's change that. Yeah, he's on number nine. Perfect. You're not you're not special anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um We'll leave a number four for now. No, not number four, number twelve. We'll leave a number twelve and number seventeen. But that's a that's a good amalgamation for now. Doesn't look like our youth scouts are finding anyone of interest, although there's a few more being found. Uh, oh, he's not assigned. Let's assign you now. Uh, Nicky Hill seems to be our best scout, even though he's got the worst stats, I'll be honest. He's always finds the most players. Like, this guy, he's got much better stats, but he just can't find anyone. Like, is he going to the wrong parts of the country? Like, is sense of direction something that's important for these scouts? Because he, this guy ain't got none. He ain't got none. And it's just not good. So... It seems like I've got to rely on my one, my number one scout who's been there since the start to do everything. Because everyone else just keeps suggesting David Brody, stop it, it's really bad, no! I was just looking for scouts and then I clicked over one. This bloke is for Newell's old boys. I'm going to try and get him. And if you haven't already, oh, go and try and go to the other challenge if you haven't already checked out Newell's old boys and see the inverse to the challenge the old guys the 35 year old the 35 year olds are older and i promise you if you thought this was a car crash blimey it wow wow what an adventure that's gonna be if i don't get fired it's gonna be a miracle we have come a long long way haven't we the manchester united match is going to be televised. Look, I didn't look at this league, and I should have. The teams in here are terrifying. As someone, obviously, who played in the 0102 sort of database of the, the beginning, uh, where Aston Villa... Um, who is it? Aston Villa... Charlton, the Premier League at the start? They're near it. Um, Leeds are dominant. All these teams are rich as well. I, but they don't seem to be spending much money. I say that, and then I flicked over to where they spent 14 million, and I mean that player is not great, to be honest. Like they're playing, they're, they're spending money, but it's not actually useful. Don't get me wrong, I'd have half these players, but that's because I'm limited. But then you have Manchester United, who are also not spending that much money. Okay, 26 million. No, no, they're spending money. They are spending money. Who's Gary O'Shea? Wow, Gary O'Shea, quite a good player. He's already left, though, so it's an awful signing. But you can see the the competition we're going to be facing is going to be a lot more difficult. It's going to be a hell of a lot more difficult, and we've got to just sort of power through it. But yeah, that's, that's that speaks volumes, doesn't it? The fact that Manchester United, we came from the conference, from the depths of the conference. We had no players to begin with. And now look at us. And now look where we are. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's no there's no hyperbole I can use uh, to describe how good it is. I'm also getting this scout just because we don't have all the scouts we need. And hell, let's get an Italian scout. I don't know if that'll make a difference for the youth uh, system. But we'll see. Oh! Oh! <gasps> I am signing you a squad rotation right now. You are really good. I'm, I'm going to give you more wage. Dave Dawes? That's... What stats are they? That, yeah, you got to remember. This is a 15-year-old. A 15-year-old. That's phenomenal. That's really good. So I am definitely going to get him. There's a few things that I'm not keen on. His work rate isn't high and his decisions isn't high. But positioning, marking, pace, jumping, um, 
I, I want more aggression, but strength is there. That's definitely, that's definitely good, good eye there, Nicky Hill. Nicky Hill again, finding the players that you want to find. I don't know what it is about him, but he just finds them. 20 creativity, you know me, you know me too well. I'm going to be getting him as a decent young player and hoping for the best. But we're going to also assign this. Oh, no, he's already assigned. We've already assigned the, uh, I don't remember, assigning the Italian guy to uh to that but then we're gonna jump into the first game of the season and I think you know exactly what's gonna happen it's gonna be exa the exact same team I might change oh huh okay if I'm brutally honest this tiredness thing is my bad I push the, the fellas too much in training and now they're knackered Oops, so now we're going to have to play a second-rate team. This is not good for the first game of the season. Thankfully, it's not all of our players. I, it was an experiment, but I did put a few first-team players in there. That was... that. This is not good. Okay, right. So we're going to have to play... We're going to play on the right-hand side, actually. The right-hand side of defense is still a bit of an unknown. It looks like we're going to have to play Danny Parker there, which, apart from that man-of-the-match performance that one time... He has been pretty average. He's been stone stone cold average. So that's not going to be good. Um, we'll play May in midfield with Keeble. Keeble was playing well at the end of the season. So yeah, let's play Keeble. And it looks like I'm going to have to... I've called up Kevin Thompson. I put him in the reserves at the start of the season. We're going to have to bring him back up. And uh, I will put Leon Daly on the bench. Uh, I've had to change this youth out training to intense, medium, and light. I could just do none on tactics. Or also set that to medium. That seems wrong, though. I think I think that's right. I don't know. I, I, I'm not... I've never quite tweaked the, the, the tactics, the training thing before. Uh, and clearly, I did it. I was a bit overzealous. I was a bit overzealous, but... Maybe I should make one that is absolutely mega intense, but you can see we got an injury during training as well. So um, maybe I should be a bit more relaxed on it because it's, uh, yeah, it's caused problems. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to put Horner on the bench, uh, Green on the bench, Cook on the bench. Oh, no, 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 no. Cook on the bench, Bone on the bench, and uh, Brown on the bench. So, yeah, we've got Leon Daly on the bench, which I don't want. I do not want that, but uh, I got no 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 choice, really. Uh, I got no other strikers. I could, actually, I could... Um, let's put Wilson on the bench, just for this game. So, this is going to be a bit of a travesty, this match. But, hell, it wouldn't be this season without it. I'm not giving you the coveted 12. I'll, you can have 17, why not? But 12 is going to go to someone special. We'll see who comes through the door. But this is it. This is the first match. Let me just double check the strategy. Um, yeah, that back line's pretty good apart from Parker. Dodd, thankfully Dodd didn't get caught up in it. Uh, actually, was Dodd in it? I believe I put Dodd in this, uh, in this uh, little bit. No. Are all the players knackered who are in it? Yep, you can see. Oh, dear. Look at that condition. Although Richard Gale is having a great time. He's loving it. For some reason, some players are okay, but most of them are exhausted. They should not be doing this. So I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. I've tuned it down a little bit. We'll hope for the best. Uh, or I might make a first choice one and a sort of reserves one and hope that they don't just obliterate themselves into travesty but i need to do something more the training the youth development is more important than ever right now um and focusing on tweaking these players is going to be important but for now we've got everyone we need may keeble shaw walker and thompson Holding the fort up front. Let's go, Middlesbrough. What? What? Ooh, what kind of team is this? Okay, they've got a sweeper. That's the first time I've seen that in a long time. Um, I wasn't looking for Hart. Uh, I was looking for Bannister. Wow. Well, he's a, quite a good player, to be fair. But we'll, we'll see if this works. I've not seen a sweeper uh, strategy in a long time. 
Uh, it looks like we're doing okay. They are getting a bit of offense in, but we were able to get a penalty and no mistake from Walker. I didn't know Walker was our, was our uh, penalty taker of choice after uh, Leon Daly. Hmm. But that's good. We're getting the first goal in the first game of the season. In the first division, we're able to sort of cruise in and absolutely take control. That's what I want to see. And there we go. Walker with a header as well. Is he able to finish the hat trick? We haven't yet had a hat trick with, with goals from open play. Uh, we've only had that unusual hat trick from Leon Daly. Well, oh, hello. We're doing really well. We're doing really, really well. This is good. This is really good. Um, yeah, we only had that. Um, yeah, you've got a knee injury. Let's take you off. That. What do you call it? The. I've lost all function. The hat trick that was from three penalties. That's what I'm trying to do. Sorry, that was completely. My brain just fried. Absolutely fine. This episode has been an absolute turmoil. <laughs> oh, Hardy with a shot from downtown dominating us. That is not what we want to see. They've only had one shot, one goal. We, it'd be really unfair if we managed to lose now. Uh, Eddie Bonus come on to shore things up, hopefully. Um, is Nathan Dodd's going to have to stay on. Um, I'm going to have to hit the microphone. That's a good idea. I think we're just going to have to keep everyone on and hope that we manage to ride this one out at 2-1. Are we able to? And it looks like we're going towards goal. And hell, that is a good performance, especially with a lot of reserve players in there. I'm quite happy with that. In fact, I'm very happy with that. Now, there is a concern that our creative midfielders aren't able to dictate players as much as they used to. Of course, Roy Cook didn't even get a game that game. The last two seasons, he was a bit underwhelming. Um, I'll say that. In the, in the other one, obviously, look at that win ratio. He was actually very, very key. But in this in this new formation, the, the play goes out wide so much that you don't really have the availability going to the center, center of midfield. And it's more of a defensive role now. But anyway, that's good. We're in the playoff position. That's it. That's where we're going to finish the damn season. But thank you for joining me on this adventure. There's been twists, there's been turns, and there's been a bloke trying to maintain his motorcycle. But we got through it, and we've kept most of our players. What's next for the youth army? Catch it next time.